Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have a simple example where we have two masses connected together with a string. Yeah, they're of different mass. The first one is 4 kilograms, the second one is 12 kilograms, and together they're being pulled by 100 newton force, and we're supposed to find the acceleration. What we did here is we separated the two masses and we drew free body diagrams so we can consider all the forces acting on M1 and all the forces acting on M2. And notice here that we have the weight pushing down, we have the normal force pushing back. These two forces are equal and opposite in direction, so therefore they cancel each other out. And then we have a force pulling to the right, which is the tension on the string pulling an M1 in the same direction as acceleration. So the net force equals the mass times acceleration, then becomes the force aiding the acceleration. There is, in this case, no force opposing the acceleration equals the mass times acceleration. For the second mass, notice again we have the force of gravity pulling down, the normal force pulling back or pushing back, and they're equal and opposite, so therefore they cancel each other out. And then we have two forces, the force pulling to the right and the tension on the string pulling to the left on block M2. Again, the net force equals the mass times acceleration. In this case, the force here is in the same direction as acceleration, so this is aiding the acceleration, and the tension is in the opposite direction to the acceleration, so this tension is opposing the acceleration, so it's the force is aiding minus the force is opposing equals the mass times acceleration. We now have these two equations, and we have the two unknowns, the tension and the acceleration, so we have to eliminate the tension. The way we do that is so we solve each equation for t. Now the left equation is already solved for t. On the right equation we move the t to the right and this to the left and then we flip the equation around so t is equal to f minus m2a and then we can set those two equations equal to each other so we can say that m1a is equal to f minus m2a and so what we can do here is move all the terms with an A to the left side. We have M1A plus M2A equals F. We can then factor out an A. A times M1 plus M2 is equal to F. And finally, the acceleration is equal to the force divided by the two masses M1 plus M2. If we now plug in the values, we have 100 Newton force and we have masses adding up to 4 kilograms plus 12 kilograms and so the acceleration will be 6.25 meters per second square and so you can see that using the free body diagrams works quite well it's a little bit more work but you eventually will get the same answer as you would if you look at the whole system all at once and solve it the way we had solved it in the other videos in this series and that's how it's done.